How are you all doing? Vertic Designs here, and for this video, I'm going to show you 10 ways to speed up your Vegas Pro 19 and just about any other versions of Vegas Pro. The first thing that you can do is you can go to the taskbar at the bottom, right click in the empty area, and go to Task Manager. In the Task Manager, you want to go over to Details, and in here, you want to filter the memory so the highest one is at the top. Once you've done that, you will see Vegas 19. You want to right click in here and go down to properties in the properties go over to compatibility and in here what you want to do is you want to set this to run this program as administrator once you've done that go ahead and press apply go ahead and press ok and this leads us on to the next thing and the next thing is of course to right click on here again and go down to set priority now in here, what you can do is you can set it to above normal. And what this will do is it will prioritize this program a lot more compared to the other programs running. You then want to go ahead and press change. And there you go. The next thing that you can do is by holding control and shift and then going to options right at the top. While holding them down, you want to left click on here. And this is going to open up a hidden internal option. You then want to left click on here. So what you can do is you can type in open CL slash. And then in here, you will see something called enable open CL slash GL. You want to double left click on the value and set this one to false. You then want to go ahead and press OK. And the next one is also in the same options. So once again, control and shift, left click on the options and go back into the internal. Now this time we're going to search for something called multi and then space and you'll see something called enable multi stream render. For this one, you want to double left click on here and set this one to true in capital letters. Once you've done that, you want to left click off of this and go ahead and press OK, which leads us on to the next thing that we can do. And that is, of course, to once again, go back into the options. But this time we're going to go down into the preferences. In the preferences, we're gonna start on the video. So of course in the video, what you can do is you will have the option to add more RAM to Vegas Pro. So what you want to do is you want to allocate more RAM for Vegas Pro. And as you can see, you have a slider and it will tell you exactly how much percent is going to be allocated. What I'd recommend is if you've got eight gigabytes of RAM, to give it around four to five, you always want to make sure that you leave at least a decent amount for your system as well. And once you've done that, we can move on to the next thing, which is of course the GPU acceleration. Now this varies depending on what type of system you have. So what I mean by this is I have a gaming notebook and when I have the GPU acceleration on, it will just overheat really quick and the program usually crashes so you just have to experiment with it, see if it works, see if it doesn't. If you're on a PC, then you definitely want to be using your graphics card. Moving on to the next thing is of course the thumbnails. So what I mean by this is as you can see, when you import a video into the timeline, you will have the thumbnails for the video itself. Now this is great, but at the same time, it uses resources and it just slows things down. So if you click in the thumbnails right here, you just want to set this one to none. So now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and click on apply. You want to click OK, and you will need to restart your Vegas Pro for the effects to take place. Once again, press OK. You can customize this and you can go into the area right here, right click in here, go down to track display color and you can change the color if you want to to something else like green drag this in between here, drag this up, and this will minimize the video so it looks like this. Moving on to another really important thing and setting that you want to change is to go back into the options, go down into preferences once again, and you wanna go over to the file IO. In here, what you want to do is you want to tick the one that will say enable legacy AVC decoding and also the HEV C decoding. Before you take these two, you want to make sure that the hardware decoder 
is set to your graphics card and then you want to enable them once again. Now that you've done that, go ahead and click on apply. Once again, you would have to press OK and restart your Vegas Pro for the effects to actually take place. And then finally, the very last two things that you can do is the first thing is to go to the video preview right at the top and you want to change the preview quality to something much lower. If you've got yourself effects, this is going to make a huge difference between being able to preview at a smoother frame rate. And then finally, the very last thing that you can do is you can disable your video preview while you are rendering. So to do this, you go to view, go down to window and untake the video preview. It's just going to focus purely on rendering your video. So once you've rendered your video, to bring back the video preview, you would once again go back to view, go down to window and get yourself the video preview. Now, sometimes it may appear like this where it's popped out and to dock this back in, you just left click and hold control and hover over the area and this will snap it back onto that area. Now, before I end this video, I also want to give you a bonus tip. If you left click, you drag this out, press shift and b and this will give you a ram preview of what it's going to look like so it's going to be a lot smoother when you preview the video and that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful and i hope your vegas pro is a lot faster now as always i will see you all in the next video bye <laughs>